Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Like my videos? Please consider buying me a coffee. Thank you so much for the support. It helps me continue making content that you enjoy. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another top 10 list to round out the year of 2021. And today I want to talk about my top 10 Marvel Legend picks for 2021. Now, these are not the most popular Marvel Legends figures out there this year, nor are they the best selling. They're just my personal top 10 picks that I got this year. So let's see what made that list. My number 10 pick is going to go to Thunderstrike, the Joe Fixit uh, Bath Wave. And I like this figure because we've never received him before in the Marvel Legends line. And he's so 90s, he's great. That was like the golden era of me collecting comics and the golden era of comic book shops. And it just brings me back to that edgy, crazy 90s comic era. And I just love the sculpt. It looks like it came out of those 90s pages. And that's why he's number 10 on this list. My number nine pick is going to go to the Fat Thor or Bro Thor, a build a figure from a couple years ago. Now, I've been wanting to get this figure for a long while, but I just didn't like most of the figures that came in the series. So I ended up getting on eBay, and uh, while I don't think he's quite fat enough, it's definitely a great figure and a great interpretation of Thor in Avengers Endgame. Absolutely love the character, love the bath, and he was a must-have in my collection, and that's why he's number nine on the list. My number eight pick's going to go to Miles Morales from uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, one of my favorite spider movies that has been put out, and Miles Morales is one of my favorite versions of Spider-Man, so I had to get this guy. I love the spray paint. Uh, spider logo on him much better than I do the original uh, comic. I think the new aesthetic of this new kind of kid made costume looks so much cooler than we've had in the past and I just love the new design and feel and that's why he's number eight on my list. My number seven pick is going to go to Gwen Stacy from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse because she was awesome in uh, that movie. And uh, also, Spider-Gwen's one of my more favorite Spider-Man characters. And she comes with Spider-Ham, who I've loved since I was a kid. So this is a two-pack deal, which is a fantastic. And uh, well, that's why she's number seven on my list. My number six pick is going to go to the Cap Falcon from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series where he actually becomes the Captain America Falcon and I love this figure. I was so happy they did this character right by the comic books. It looks just like the comics and I just it comes with the the bath wings which is fantastic and in the comics I loved how he ended up becoming Captain America after Cap had died because, well, the Falcon was one of his uh, buddies and sidekicks and it was just nice to see him be the successor and that was just fantastic to see it in live action and that's why it's number six on my list. My number five pick is going to go to the Infinity Saga Thor or the Powered Up Battled Fat Thor and uh, I love this figure. The box looks really cool to begin with. I love the Infinity Saga stuff, but uh, seeing him with the powered up uh, Stormbreaker and Mjolnir and the black battle suit just looks super awesome. And this will be great to put next to the Fat Thor or Bro Thor and see them side by side, both from Infinity Game and uh, 
yeah, it'll be a lot of fun to see him up on my shelf, and that's why he's number five on this list. My number four pick is going to go to Firestar, and I believe this is a Walgreens exclusive, maybe a Target exclusive, pretty sure Walgreens. If you know, leave a comment down below. I actually got her from Big Bad Toy Store, and she was a must-have for my collection this year because she fills out my Spider-Man and his amazing friends with Spidey. Iceman and now her. She also comes with the little dog from the cartoon show back in the 80s, which was a huge part of my childhood. So it's great to see her not only in the comics nowadays, but actual plastic as a Marvel legend. And that's why she made this list. My number three pick is going to go to the Venomized Captain America. This figure is gorgeous. I love a good Venomized figure, and this really takes the cake. I love all the tendrils over the shield, all over his outfit. And, uh, you know, the star looks a little fuzzy, but eh, it is what it is. Definitely fun. I hope to see more of these Venomized characters in the Marvel Legends. It's just a great way to, you know, redeco a character and figure and uh, bring something very fun from the comics, and that's why he made this list. My number two pick is going to go to Maestro, the evil Hulk from the future. And when I was a kid, I used to pronounce this Maestro. <laughs> I, I, I was an idiot. But uh, I think this was, was this a GameStop exclusive? Um, or did they sell this in that Target as well? I don't really know. I ordered it from Big Bad Toy Store, uh, and it's one of my favorite characters, and I've been wanting to get this guy forever. Uh, actually, I found the old Toy Biz version of him this year as well, so very cool to get double maestros uh, for your Hulk collection. This guy just looks like he came out of the comics, and uh, it's a great reuse of the Hulk body mold, and, well, that's why he's number two on this list. And my number one pick for Marvel Legend of 2021 has got to go to Surtur, and I don't know how this wasn't a bath figure. This thing is gorgeous. I'm not sure if this was a Target exclusive. The only time I saw any of them, I saw two when I got this, was on the west side of Indianapolis at a Target. Uh, I don't know if they sold these at... Uh, GameStop or not, leave a comment down below, but it is incredible. The detail, the sculpt work, the accessories that it comes with. It is absolutely a gorgeous figure from the Infinity Saga, and it is top shelf on my Marvel Legends. So there it is, my top 10 Marvel Legends for 2021. Which ones did I miss? Uh, which ones did you agree with? Leave a comment down below. You can also jump over to my Facebook page, upload pictures of your collections, links to your videos. I would love to see them. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews or Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore a Maximus. And as always, look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.